All right. So welcome again to Military Guna TV. And thank you very much for joining me. And today I want to speak about um, some sad news. I, I, I honestly believe that it's some, this is some sad news. And I, I never even thought that this would be something that I would be reporting on. I honestly never thought that because I, I think it's like a cultural thing where, where we are from. Um, the, you know, Jamaica, we don't indulge in these type of things and and these we find these these stuff really really weird that's what we find we find it weird maybe because it's just a back, our back, background and our culture the diversity in our culture so guys um please smash the like button i totally appreciate it um if you do this this, this is actually a, a serious video this is not a video like um a, 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 a play up getting big country no this is this is extremely student this, this is something that i never expected that i would talk, i'll be speaking about now one of our young um prolific young talented reggae boys um norman campbell has been subjected to racial abuse now i know um let me get let me read through this first um so norman campbell was subjected to subjected to racial abuse during his debut for fc um kiraki I'm a Kiraki. Kiraki. <laughs> yeah, Kiraki. Um, he had to walk off the pitch um, for the monkey chantings to stop. Now, um, monkey chantings. We have seen on major, major footballing um, ideas, maybe big, big station, BBC, um, sports, all different type of sports news. And we have seen these things um, being talked about in regards to the racial abuse aspect of things and players exper experiencing racial abuse. Now we have seen now one of our own reggae boys experiencing that. Now this could be coming from so much different aspect of um aspect of what we what we are and what we represent. So for example, like the, the idea of out of many one people, the Jamaican motto. We believe in togetherness. We believe in, 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 in togetherness. We believe in love. Yes, we understand that our culture, our background has a bit of crime, a bit of violence, but we still believe in love. Look at how it, it doesn't matter how poor the reggae boys are playing. It doesn't matter how bad they're doing. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how bad the, the Sunshine Girls are doing or even the West Indies team. I am telling you, it is full. They get full and 100% support once the game kicked off. Um, and I can I can tell you if the reggae boys should make it to the World Cup, there shall be a, a, a massive, massive, big, big celebration. That is the love we share. Now, when the reggae boys, when we always commend our young reggae boys for stepping out of their comfort zone, going into Europe to play football and enjoy themselves and better their career, but. The unfortunate side of things in regards to that, I is this is the result. This is a part of the unfortunate side of things, and this is a part of it that most of the players have experienced and they have never said anything about it. I can guarantee you that if we spoke, if we should, if we should speak to, to a few more reggae boys who are playing in Europe, they would have um, solemnly explained to you that they have faced it before, but they try their best to not let it impact them. But this time around. Young reggae boy <clears throat> Norman Campbell experienced it from the Serbian fans. It was actually from the opposition fans because he was actually he was ripping them apart. He was ripping them apart, and they couldn't find anything to to demoralize him more than right, divert straight into the racism factor. So, I, 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 it's difficult for me to explain. Because me, for one, I've never experienced it before. I've never experienced it before, despite traveling a few places, a few different countries, but I've never experienced it before. Never. But I do honestly understand the player must be distraught that at this moment, he had to walk off the pitch. The monkey chants were going on. He was ripping the team apart. They didn't like it because they won the game. And he was a massive contributor to them winning the game. And what I can say is, Keep your head up high, Norman Campbell. I know and I understand the background that you're coming from. Um, you're coming from a background of diversity. You have a different variety of people living in Jamaica. A variety of people. You have Indians, Chinese. It doesn't matter. 
all different type of culture and we live like one we live like one this is maybe one of the most diverse country in the world jamaica one of the most diverse country in the in the world i'm not saying that other countries don't have mixed races but in regards to how we live together you you can see a a, a, a white jamaican inside of the country and he's talking strictly patwa you would, you can hear the person if you did not see the person you will definitely you would not you cannot distinguish between color and that is all we as, as as a country look at things that is the reason why the when we um racism does not affect us that much because we cannot distinguish between color there's no such thing in the jamaican culture as color we don't we we don't um identify as color we might identify by names with, in which we associate with people. Um, for example, like different race, we will have um, a Chinese specifically have a specific name for all Chinese. It doesn't matter what your name is. We have a specific name, spe specific name for you. But it's not a racist name. It's not a racist thing. If you're Indian, we have a specific name. It's not, it's not racist. And even if they themselves acknowledge themselves by that name that we're calling them so it's not a racist um anything that has to do um uh, in, 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 how could i put it now it's just so hard to explain it's very very hard to explain but i i honestly would um say um hold the heads up your, your head up um norman campbell um this is a bad and a horrible experience for you as a young man you're a very very young player a talented player you are one of the, the young young players um of this country that we're looking forward to in the next few years hold your head your heads up your head up eye um and uh, keep fighting on because this is just one hurdle that you have to go over in life and it shouldn't be one it should have never this shouldn't be one of the hurdles that you have to pass over and it's just so unfortunate that it is one of those hur hurdles it is it's unfortunate but it is and i'm hoping that you rise to the occasion as you know the song rise to the occasion that's what we do as jamaicans we these things we, we brush it off our shoulder and if it's something that continues i am strongly advising you it might take a toll on your mental capacity and you will just maybe would have to just move away and uh, i we would definitely understand the situation so keep your heads your head up i um i keep on saying keep your head up i norman campbell um your entire fan base the entire reggae boys fan base the entire world who don't believe in racism is behind you as um and we are supporting you a hundred percent and we are looking out for you thank you very much viewers and, and subscribers i honestly um say um thank you for coming and watching this one this one is not one where i see a lot of people are going to talk about but it is one that we have to address this is this is our own this is our young player we have to protect their future because in the next coming future the next coming world cup campaign next coming big massive footballing campaign even in his personal life we have to protect them protect protect them, protect their mental capacity what they want to do what they want to achieve in life these are they are these these guys are are, are young and their mind are fragile we have to protect them as fans we are be, behind you and everyone in the comment section i want to say we are behind you norman campbell put that in the comment comment section people we are behind you norman campbell and use that pray emoji we are behind you norman campbell put that in the comment section if you are watching this video and you are this far in the video please put that in the comment section we are a hundred percent behind you norman campbell supporting you and this has been military guna tv hopefully some of you guys learn something from this and understand what the player is going through military guna tv people and i am